Oh, there we go! Streamlabs took a second. Sorry, guys, you're joining 10 seconds into this one because uh, Streamlabs kind of screwed us over with the game capture, but we've got a really nice EU mashup today. It's Spider versus Drolly. Or actually, I should say Drolly was from Canada for a long time. I, I don't know. I I'm a little bit confused, but the point is we're going to play on EU servers. I assume that's best for both of them. Um, but these guys are money matching each other. They both put up $25 against the other, um, and they wanted to get it on stream. So Spider actually hit me up a couple days ago. It might be like a week now, uh, looking for a time in which we could do this. And we finally had a little bit of a moment, so we thought, why not? Let's hop in. Spider, a perennial top 20 type player, has recently fallen out. Um, Drolly apparently also, I think I remember seeing his name in the top 100, is uh, a high up player. But he says he hasn't checked where he is as of late because um, he's gotten bored with ones. But both of these guys ready to take ones a little bit more seriously here in the next hour or so as they try and take some money from the other. A lot of pride in this one. I assume if they're money matching each other, they uh, are a little bit of rivals, I would imagine. I'm not sure how friendly of a money match it is as opposed to like a, man, I'm sure I could beat you in a you know more important context. And now we've got it for him. A minute in, tied one to one. That G2 version one match was intense. Yeah, I was watching some of that today. Uh, me and King's Randy game will go on YouTube. Yes, it will, young cap. You beat Mo in a best of three recently, but he hasn't played in a while. Yeah, I saw you guys played uh, two mans. Um, and I saw you won. I was like, oh, that's a good win. It's a good two mans win. Drowly! Gotta get a second here. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. Nice backflip challenge. And a good quick counterattack. Do people still play two mans? Um, yeah, people definitely do. Vensi was the guy to play it first, man. He, he was like, he grinded out to the top of two mans very quickly before rank X even existed. Oh my goodness, wow. Drolly just, what is going on here? He was straight up passing the ball to Spider. There's actually a couple of open windows that Spider could have taken. Right here, that's, a, that's very shootable. I mean, maybe you could consider that a Spider fake, but I don't know, I think that was just some mess ups from Vensi. We should throw a party if you get your first win in rank A. All right, sounds good. Drolly, go for the double. Oh my goodness, he had everything set up perfectly. But a slight misread, and it's going to be an open one for Spider. A great quick play. Dams, what's going on, by the way? You followed uh, during the countdown of the stream. Spider, a couple quick ones, and the biggest lead of the game so far might be this two-goal lead. He is just feasting in 1v1 fashion on Drolly right now, like some of the best 1v1ers do. You know, counterattack and, and take advantage of mistakes, play a little bit safer, and, and then win the kickoffs, and that's exactly what Spider's been doing for the first couple minutes. Taking advantage of the Drolly mistakes. Drolly's been doing a good job of creating scoring opportunities, but then he just he's either missing him in the last moment or he's also just handing over some free goals. I remember the one on this back line that just seemed very unforced. So Drolly dictating the game definitely seems like there's a world in which he could start, you know, contending with Spider here, but this is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of play that is really gonna put you in a tough spot. You're just handing over a free bucket. This is totally unforced. Spider is really not barreling down in any meaningful way there. And Drolly taps it out to midfield. Drolly was 1,600 this season in ones until he got farmed by you. My goodness. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but Drolly is apparently 13 years old. So he's a next gen over in the EU land, which uh, we don't really know much about EU land, to be fair. Um, but we got to assume there's a bunch of next-gen type players there as well, and, and Drowley might be the best, it seems like. I mean, if he's as high as everybody's been saying he's been able to get 1,600 in ones, absolutely insane. Um, I would assume he'd have to be the best youngster. Spider, though has completely broken open this game. A lot to do with just Drolly's mistakes. And, you know, you can watch the game and kind of blame Drolly and say, you know, Drolly lost it more than Spider won it. But Spider is a player who grinds so much. He is 
taught himself never to leave any open opportunities. He knows how to play ones. Nice air dribble bump for a third. When do we get another one stream with some satisfying cam settings? Everyone's like 15, 16 plus. Well, I think the one, the NA1 scene, maybe the youngsters grind a little bit harder. I'm not sure. That's, that's I'm surprised there's not at least as many EU. Long time left on the clock. Drawley needing to find a way to not just let Spider in his net every time he's on this back line. And so, looking like he's done it this time for Spider at least back into his own half instead of giving away a goal. You and Spider probably have the most ones games this season. Spider has so many ones games. He grinds, man. Whenever I see him on stream, I actually haven't seen him streaming recently, but he is in every tournament and ranked all the time. Seems like he's really pushing for it and has got his hard earned, you know, skill in ones. Spider stream today? Yeah, that's another thing. Um, I, I, there's a chance I just don't see him because he is EU. So if he streams at a regular EU time, then I don't even get to see it. Um, so back in the day, he used to stream at insane North America times as well. You know, up to like 3, 4, 5 a.m. his time, and that's when I could actually watch him. Um, so I guess I should say he stopped streaming at uh, insane times. Maybe he's getting school back going or something. But Drawley, not out of this one. An early flick is just enough to get it past Spider. He's ranked C in six minutes. Oh my goodness, Drowley with the quick. I'm not in chat. Has chat wide open during the match. I, it seems like this is uh, something that the youngsters do more than anybody else. Uh, maybe everybody does it. They just don't talk very much. But the the young guys always seem to have chat open and they're listening in on the show match as it goes on which would just be insane to me i, I don't think i could ever do that but yo chaz i think you have to follow uh that being said spider capitalizing on a bunch of drowning mistakes was up big and it has been completely erased 20 seconds left to go drowly with possession 23 boost is not too much to make a play, but he'll find a way. A nice tap up to himself. And Spider letting Drally all the way back in. And this is what I was talking about. I mentioned it earlier. As soon as Drally started connecting on these shot attempts, he was basically dictating the pace. And Spider was having to feed off of his mistakes. And as soon as Drally, you know, stops giving those free opportunities, he is all the way back in this game. And is he going to finish it before time runs out? A nice bump attempt. And Spider able to slow it down just enough to get the save. But if the clock kept going, he would have absolutely lost this match. But now it's all tied up 6-6. Six to six. These guys dancing around the ball here at midfield. And they finally separate from each other. Drally up the wall. Spider forced back into his half. Ceiling reset. An early challenge from Spider. And it's good enough to force the 50 out of dangerous way. But Drally, power shot, Spider can't get there. It seemed like Spider had made the recovery and was ready for this shot. But Drally just puts it behind him. Spider operating on enough, uh, or just enough boost to feel like he had to keep his momentum. And that one placed well enough. So wow, this game seemingly stolen by Drally as he comes back to take it in overtime. Enjoy doing that. Spider versus Drawley. Game number two. Spider feasting off the Drawley mistakes for the first half of that last game, but then Drawley was in the zone, able to take it back in the last few minutes. He will win this challenge deep in Spider's corner. Two mans, guys. I think uh, just to bring up two mans, just because a couple people in chat have been talking about two mans. Two mans is. Um, a Discord server, basically, that I created uh, where you can play a bunch of 1v1s like the six-man's format. Queue up against people. You have an ELO inside the Discord. Uh, it's just a good opportunity to play some best of threes um, against some maybe players better than you, maybe a little bit worse. But a nice place to practice. A lot of the good players are, are queuing up for two-mans. Uh, Vensi, who's in chat, was one, kind of our first players to really adopt it. But he has since, you know, not been back in a while. Um, 
but it's a fun time. It's got North American, uh, you know, channels, EU channels. Y'all should check it out. Drally a third. Playing quick in his own corner. Spider trying to be suffocating. Trying to tap this one past Spider, but can't. For me, it's people a lot of people better than me. Yeah, depending on where you fall in the rank check, you, you might be in a, you know, a rank full of players better than you. How do you make it go to EU from NA? Uh, go to player settings channel and uh, just you should be able to see the command there. Drawley gonna give a lot of space to Spider. His ground dribble going for the flick with Drawley waiting in net. He does force out a tough save, but the continuation is leaving a lot to be desired. In fact, he's going to leave his net open for a counter. Surprise, Spider not going for an air dribble bump. Some kind of play much closer to the net. He instead goes for a long distance flick. And although he gets Drawley kind of out of position, he needed to score or he needed to take a much stronger shot attempt for that follow up in order to capitalize on that possession. So Spider down 4 1. Waiting this bounce out in Drawley's corner. Drawley playing really fast and loose right now. A play style that can really grab a lot of momentum when it's working. Early challenge from Drawley, able to take away this air dribble bump from Spider. And, you know, maybe this is why Spider is not going air dribble bumps. Maybe he knows. Drawley is a great defender, does a really good job of popping it past him. This time, ooh, a bit of a fake. What happened here? I'm not sure what happened on Drawley's perspective because it was a good setup from Spider, but it seemed like the save was possible. Oh, just like a pre-flip. Maybe thought Spider was going to flick it as opposed to single jumping it. Drally, deep on Spider's half with no boost. Back the other way, he's been given lots of open dribbles right now. Hasn't been able to convert them at a consistent rate. Drally doing a good job playing backline defense, normally so dangerous to do so. As he sets up another shadow in midfield, he's had a couple different backwards challenges this game that have worked well. I think you forgot predictions, you're right, I did. My mod is not in chat who uh, handles that for me so often. CX Rimso, thank you for the follow. Uh, what are predictions for the rest of the match um, after this game? Spider playing from behind with two minutes left to go. A two goal lead. Nothing that can't be made up. Trolley, a nice flip reset, but. Way too far away from the net. Struggling to find momentum to bring it back online. Spider once again back in a caught dribble. And Trelly is just saving it so well. Doing a good job of pre-jumping his dribble. And it's just too late for Spider to make an adjustment. Doesn't have room to take it under. And if he wants to take it over, he's going to have to take it way over to the point where... It's no longer a scoring opportunity, so a really impressive defense from Drawley, but Spider will find a way on the ground. Had enough of this aerial gameplay. And he'll roll this one in, go for the late 50. Basically a fake, but really just trying to make Drawley make a mistake. Spider trying to be patient on his back wall. Did not think that Drawley was going to be able to find an angle here. As he launches this one back, he has zero boost. And yeah, I mean, the only explanation is that Spider thought that Drawley was being over aggressive, that maybe his tap would go on the back wall, and then Spider could use the boost that he can serve to get a very free counterattack. But uh, he had the misread because Drawley had a shot online. We'll go up. Five to three, once again up two with a minute left to go. Trying to put himself on match point here in this money match. 
Spider, once again, a top of car dribble with lots of field in front of him. This time the early flick saved away, maybe trying to expose Drolly for an early challenge, but there it is, a six for Drolly. He will extend the lead to three with 40 seconds left to go. Spider with a boost advantage thought that he could stay aggressive and mix it up in Drolly's half, but a very efficient takeaway with 10 boosts. Ceiling reset, Drolly's been going for these a couple times, hasn't been able to get anything out of him yet, but a nice pinch 50. And he's still on offense here. Spider so conservative on defense, and this is why you're patient and you can get some takeaways like this. So 20 seconds left to go, a very important gain number two for Spider. Does not want to have to put himself on a reverse sweep type path. Possession again for Spider. Low boost, early flick. He knew that Drolly was going to come for that early challenge. Normally players like to go set up that ball off the side wall. But he had a feeling Drolly would want to take it away early. The clock ticking down. Spider, a nice shot. It will get saved away. But even if it went in, this game likely over. So Drolly going to put himself on match point. 2-1. to one. Or sorry, 2-0. to zero. Thank you for the follow, Brick and P Dog Games. Drolly versus Spider. Drolly looking really good here today um, for being a debut. I think he's a top level player, is the impression I get. Shows you how uh, out of tune I am with the EU scene. Because a player this good, I should know him. Spider, a nice tap. Threatening the bump for his first. How's your Scottish accent, though? Yeah, it, it's not there. Something about just watching once and listening to that Scottish accent is just, you know, unmatchable. Spider. I've, I've already done my Johnny uh, impression. Everybody knows my Johnny impression just involves me saying at all at the end of as, as many things as you can. Spider gonna have to uh, put a lot of points on the board to keep Drolly out of these games because he went up 6-2 and still wasn't able to keep Drolly down. He made it all the way back in that game number one. Game two was more of all Drolly all the time. So Spider maybe gonna need to run it up. Yet to find any consistent way to get past this defense and Drolly really has been Letting Spider do whatever he wants. He's been giving lots of space uh, More space than we normally see of course right now He's absolutely suffocating with the challenge and taking away the ball and maybe that's a good mix-up From uh, from the way that was a perfect at, at all <laughs> Well, I've watched a good amount of Johnny boy uh, How do you change yourself to EU in two mans? Um, go to hash go to the hashtag go to channel the channel for player settings and um, you can grab the EU rules if you want. You can always keep the NA rules too if you'd like, if you think you can uh, queue on US East sometimes. Spider, a nice ceiling reset. And he has got the shot of the match so far, but hasn't been able to find a game win. Drolly's been looking for these ceiling resets himself, but a great placement on the bottom left corner. Seeing Drolly up on that back wall means he's gonna be able to save anything high the easiest and Spider just snipes the bottom corner making sure there's no bounce. And tied up and a nice 50 win. Kickoffs could end up being the saving grace for Spider. He does seem like he's doing a really good job of grabbing possession, getting some more direct kickoffs than we see from Drolly. You're the only one for Spider. That's all right. That means you're gonna make bank. It certainly uh, is, you know, less likely for Spider to win three games than his opposition to win one. Uh, so you'd expect the, the shift to be that way. You know, some gambles are, are riskier than others. But the true Spider fans know he has what it takes to bring it back here. Right now, though, very low on boost as he's trying to challenge this ball, doing a really good job to push it away, buy himself some time. That was a risky play there. Any wrong movement 
And if that ball breaks out, he does not have the boost to come back and make a play. So once again, Spider with a dribble on the top of his car, Drawley winning in net. We've been in this situation so many different times, and the crazy part is somehow, some way, they've almost went in favor of Drawley. Usually that's such a dangerous place to be on defense in ones, but Drawley is coming out on top more often than not. This air dribble bump, once again saved by Drawley. Normally, you know, such a hard play to stay ahead of. And, and Spider is not doing a bad job of setting him up either. He is doing what he needs to do. It's just Drawley's playing great, great defense. Able to steal this boost. Spider trying to keep a possession play back into his own corner. But the youngster's too quick. The 13 year old from uh, Canada and now living in Morocco. Spider has an open net, great placement. Technically, it wasn't open. Needed to shoot on that right half of the net. And this is the kind of stuff that Drawley, uh, you know, was doing in that first game that made it so close. Just some whiffs and some questionable plays that honestly made me have, you know, some doubts that he was going to be able to hang. But as soon as he cut those out, he was instantly in control of the match. So as long as he keeps those limited, Spider having a tough time maintaining his lead. He's got a great boost advantage right now. Spider, though, has been so calculating and it has cost him in the past, but this time it's going to work perfectly. Holding on to his 97 boost. Right now, Spider knows he's going to be able to make a save very easily. He's saving that boost to get a really strong counterattack. And he booms it all the way downfield before Drowley can get back. And that's the kind of play that Spider was looking for in the times past where we saw him, you know, stuck on the ground, seemingly not even attempting to make a save. And it's because he was looking for a play like that where he could get a great counterattack. Now, Drowley is going to get a kickoff goal. These need to be going in Spider's favor. Spider, a couple quick plays off the kickoff. I think Drolly was maybe trying to dive deep and steal some boosts. Really interesting, actually, situation from Drolly. I'd have to go back and see why was he so deep on that half, picking up pads in Spider's corner when he was obviously going to be, you know, the on the losing end of that boost deal. He's at most going to get, whatever, 26 boosts, whereas Spider's going to fully reset. Air dribble from Drolly, nice 50 save. Keeping this one out of harm's way. So a minute left to go, and Spider has been able to hold the lead for the longest time he has all series here in this game. Number three, nice demo, and he's got lots of time. No reason to rush it as he can force Drawley to come back. Interesting play, and it works out perfectly from Spider, baiting Drawley into a challenge. And honestly, I don't even think this is a bad challenge for Drawley. The chance that Spider might not be able to get back down on the ground after that awkward setup, it's probably worth it, but Spider knows that that will bait Drawley in. And a seventh goal. Spider 50ing low boost. Thinking he has to start him before he gets going. Spider with nothing right now. Oh my goodness. He has to play so perfect in that situation, and he has. He's been doing a great job of playing with low boost. Drolly, pick up the pace, a nice 50, and he'll redirect it in for his fifth. This is kind of how like, game number one went, but Spider's got a little bit more of a cushion this time around. Drolly had tied it up, or uh, got it within one with 25 seconds. This time, he needs two. Will Spider change up the kickoff? It looks like he won't. And Drolly going to get control of this one. Tapped away. And every second that ticks off now is in favor of Spider. He might have already done what he needs to do, even though he's stuck in such a tough spot. Maybe not. Trying to stay alive off of that poor kickoff this whole time. Doing the best he can to keep Drolly out. But Drolly will eventually score 7-6 with 11 seconds left to go. This is... Loads of time for Drolly to make a play, and oh my goodness, this is rolled perfectly for him. He's not going to go up the wall. Instead, 
Gonna make a ground play. Great bounce shot. Spider able to save it away off his post. Not over yet, though. Drawley gonna keep it up. He's gonna have such a hard time scoring, but he did! Spider didn't want to challenge early. Maybe he thought Drawley was gonna drop it to the ground, but this is a great play from Drawley. What a soft touch to set himself up for the continuation. My goodness, Drawley playing the clock so perfectly. And Drawley does not want to drop a single game in this matchup as he ties it up 7 7. Another kickoff in his favor. Spider controlling the whole match, but here Drawley is back once again to force overtime. Spider need to stay calm and collected. That's a good demo. This should be a game win, and Spider will take it. A great effort from Drawley to bring it back. Seemed like it was going to be the most poetic ending if Drawley was able to win in overtime, but no, Spider will secure it, and we will head to game number four. GG. Game number four, Drawley versus Spider. Drawley, man. Almost able to take it in three games. Both games that Spiders had a chance in, they went to overtime. And it seemed like Drawley was gonna really squash his hopes. But no, Spider will get it first. And honestly, good play from Spider for four minutes and 30 seconds of that last game. He came into that last bit with a pretty considerable lead, but couldn't hold on to the kickoffs in the last moments, and Drawley brought it all the way back. Drawley with space. Spider calculating so perfectly with his challenges in the past match. Drawley going to give him lots of space again. He likes to go back into this shadow defensive position. Lots and lots of space between Spider and himself. And Spider has tried everything so far to get past Drawley, and nothing is working consistently. He's tried the late dribbles into 50s. He's tried early flicks. He's tried, you know, just power flicks as opposed to, you know, flicks popping above. And nothing has consistently worked for him, so he's continuing to search for what he should do in those dribble situations with Drawley shadowing. This time, a scuffle as these two fight for possession and Spider's got an open shot downfield. Spider one step ahead right now. Trying to keep Drawley constantly on the defense. Grabbing his back corner boost. Before he can get anything going. Once again, still boost control for Spider. Drawley just trying to keep up the pace right now, but Spider finally not able to keep him from grabbing boost. Drawley dribble. Spider has been challenging these earlier. Is getting a good read on what Drawley's gonna go for. I wonder if we're gonna see an earlier flick from Drawley in the next few moments because Spider is just challenging early left and right. Instead, Drawley does go low 50 to punish Spider for it. But Spider does just enough to tap it away. And now playing with low boost in the corner, trying to think of a great way to save this. And wow, that is a tough play from Spider. This is a harder and second goal. He played this so interestingly. The first time we ever saw somebody play defense off the side wall of their net was Daniel, who, you know, we weren't even sure if he was doing it as a meme. We weren't sure how viable it was back then, but now players showing that that side wall defense can be the best as he gets a strong touch to save it away. Low scoring game here. We made it halfway through. Only two goals in favor of Spider. Trying to make Nick in chat look smart as he works his way back to the reverse sweep. Remember, $25 on the line and more than just uh, you know, a, a prize from us. These guys are going to be paying each other out as they bet $25 on it. So just feels a little bit more important to win. Drolly will get his first spider. Not a good enough clear. 
nice lob and flick. Just put it in a dangerous spot, force that defender to make a play. There's a good chance they won't be able to get a strong enough clear. Two one. Spiders seemingly controlling the entirety of this game, but when it's a low scoring one, it takes almost nothing for that def uh, opposition to come right back. So Drawley erasing half the lead with a single goal and a nice fake delayed play. Spider has been doing this early flick, this 45 degree flick. Every time he gets possession right around midfield, just trying to lob it up and, and see how Drawley reacts. Right now, Drawley's been able to handle it very easily. This time, power shot on the bounce. Drawley gonna wait until that very last moment and what a nice trajectory on the save though to get himself just barely ahead of Spider onto that boost. Spider with a minute left to go. Trying to hover around this ball, doing what he does best, staying patient in his back half. He knows how to conserve that boost and it's definitely at a serious boost disadvantage right now. Drawley making Spider miss. What a play from Drawley to tie it up. Holy cow. Drawley power sliding this one back online. Trying to put it behind Spider. Knows he doesn't have a lot of boost to readjust. And gets just enough of a flick that he can still get back around it and bring it to the net. So a very nice offensive play from Drawley. Once again, doing what he always does. Regardless of the lead of Spider. Bringing it back before that timer hits zero. 30 seconds left to go. Drawley's long shot should be taken away, but Spider won't be able to get his back corner boost, so he's in a really tough spot. As good as he's been playing with low boost, Drawley has been able to punish him in the last few attempts. And he will keep Spider starved. 10 seconds left to go. Spider having to pick his spots. Coming off that wall, but now stuck in a really tough spot. What a save as he sends it high, but it's not out of dangerous way at all. Spider will drop it down, and he stays alive to send it to overtime. Drawley can end it here. Oh, Spider the wave dash kickoff. Oh, he's going to get it, and what a play. Spider, a very heads-up play to change the kickoff, going for this wave dash kickoff that he's, oh my goodness, set it up perfectly. That first touch actually wasn't best. Drawley almost could have let that ball roll. And I think Spider would have been more in trouble because that, that wave dash touched the ball over to Drawley's corner. And if Drawley didn't actually 50 it back to Spider, I don't think there was a shot attempt, but it's so hard to make that read at the start of the play. Instead, Spider taking another overtime game. Three out of the four games have gone to overtime now. And we will head to the ever famous game number five. Spider versus Drawley. By the way, TTV Rizzo TV. Thank you for the follow. Spider right back to the wave dash kickoff at the start of game number five after it just won him that overtime in game four. Drawley, what a nice pinch, man. Spider was being a little bit aggressive to start this game, trying to get something started. Oh my goodness. A perfect pinch for Drawley. I think he helped use Spider. The, the, the ball came off with the blue trail. So I think he just power pitched it into Spider, who basically redirected it at his own net. The real Rizzo OMG. Yeah, yeah, the real Rizzo has TTV Rizzo TV. Drawley a nice flick. Spider had been doing a really good job this series, or especially the second half of the series, of challenging Drawley's dribbles well. But this time a little bit late. Drawley able to get the flick above him. Spider knows Drawley is coming in behind him, trying to play ever so calculated and actually worked out really great. Got Drawley to bounce him into the corner boost, which is all he could ever hope for. Not only did he not die, but he was actually able to grab his own corner boost. And now he's on offense, putting Drawley on his back half. Drawley looking for a double, most likely knows that that single shot attempt would not be able to get it past a good defender. But he couldn't get the double either. Spider 
kind of hovering away from that right corner of the net, trying to bait Drawley into taking that power shot. And it's just, you know, a gamble between the two of them. Spider leaving the net open, thinking he's got what it takes to get back and save it. And Drawley thinking as long as he slams it hard enough, Spider won't be able to get there. But Spider baits him perfectly. Able to get his first goal of this game number five. Spider, a great save. Drawley, last second, deciding not to steal that back corner boost and also not taking the midfield boost. This is a huge change in momentum. The difference between Spider playing right now with 60, 70 less boost. You know, he would not have been able to clear this immediately back on offense. But that being said, Drawley has found a way to score a third. Spider thinking he was going to be able to take a low 50 there, but Drawley tapping it up above and a power shot for a third camo i will get you that uh that steam sign after this match spider back in a familiar spot this time a booming flick and finally spider has been able to capitalize on an open field dribble situation. He has been in this spot so many times, right at midfield with a shadowing Drawley. This time, holy cow. Exactly what he needed as he lobs a booming flick above Drawley. Drawley was shadowing a little bit closer than he does normally. And Spider given exactly what he needed to get his second. Approaching halfway through the game, Spider has led the last two matches the majority of the time, and Drawley has sent him to overtime just in the last moments. This time around, Drawley taking the lead in the match. Oh no, Spider thought he had time to grab corner boost, but he did not. That soft touch. He was thinking he was going to set himself up for a nice dribble. Grab the boost and uh, pick back up the ball, but Drawley saw an opportunity to take an open net. Spider, nice play. Winning out this kickoff battle. Both these guys fighting for possession and boost. Spider coming out on top with both. And a great double jump, just making a read on Drowley's early challenge. Spider not letting himself fall far behind. But Drowley has been controlling this whole game number five. Now he's got possession and the boost advantage. This flick will be saved away. Spider doing a good job of getting first and second saves, but Drowley's been making his money on those continuation plays where he just keeps Spider starved in the back as long as he can. This time, Spider makes it out. Spider back to himself. Trying to delay his touch as much as he can. And here we are yet again. Spider on the dribble. Drawley the far away. And Drawley's doing such a good job of shadowing and taking away those air dribble bumps. He's getting up and around the path of Spider before Spider can even get started. And he's honestly making the air dribble bump look silly. With how much people think it's unstoppable, he's making it look like it never has a chance. Spider rushing up to this ball, going for the win. He knew he had a serious boost disadvantage, but he went all in, trusting that he could get to that ball before the Drawley with a lot more boost than he did just barely. Died in the process, but now stuck in a really awkward spot. Ooh, Drawley, not the best of touches. Only 20 boost for Spider. Meant that a good strong shot from Drawley was gonna put him in a really, really bad spot, but eventually Drawley will score. 40 seconds left to go, and a two goal lead. Spider all the way back on Drawley's back wall. Not able to grab that corner boost, so slow to the uh, retreat. Kick off in favor of Drawley. Not making a possession play. Instead, taking it right to Spider. And Spider, a great 50 win. We have seen a lot of players 
when they get possession this late in the game, up two, they'll just take it back into their own corner, you know, kill a little bit more time. Instead, Drolly tries to go straight with a dribble at Spider and plays right into Spider's hand. His early challenge slams it in the net. Drolly, oh my goodness. Spider, I think, just couldn't believe that Drolly was going to go for this one, and it is going to earn him a sixth. Spider with extreme boost advantage. Drolly up one. If Spider challenges that as early as Drolly did, I mean, I mean, Drolly's in such a tough spot. I think Spider basically couldn't believe that Drolly was going to come and make that play. So risky in the game situation he was in. But it's not over for Spider now. 15 seconds left to go. Down two. Ceiling reset. Drolly! Oh my goodness, his defense has been insane. Especially against really good shots from Spider. Oh my. Spider will head out of the match. Drolly, a very hard-earned win and a great last save to take it in game number five.